I thought the youth could come forward and praise our Lord as he has risen from the dead. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us to this day. Your keeping hand that has sustained us till today where we can celebrate your resurrection. Amen. Amen. Ngizo Kala Ngokufunda Ingwati Yokala Yabase Korint Ive Sile Shumnes Tupa Neshumnes Kombis Neve Slangamashumama Bili. First Corinthians Chapter Ten. 16, 16, 16, 17, 16, 17, and 20. 17 and 20. Today is the day where we remember the risen Lord. Bazo Mugela is As you see, these vessels and plates that have been prepared for the adults that are able to receive the Lord's Supper. Empele Ningizo Funda Amavesambalunch. I will just read a few verses. In Matthew, Kala, Kwaba, Se Korinthe, Ives, Isa, Shugu, Se Shumi, Ives, Ile, Shumnes, Tupa, Shumnes, Kombis, Neves, Langama, Shumama, Bili. First Corinthians, Chapter 10, Verse 16, 17, and 19. Isi, Chas, Esbusi, So, Esi, Sibusi, Sayo, Asi yo inchanganyelo yeka zilika kristu na isi inkwa esi sisepulayo asi yo inchanganyelo yomzimba ka kristu na sikine la apostos akfundo en lao pese sifundi vesle shumnes kombis when we bless the cup at the Lord's table, aren't we sharing in the blood of Christ? And when we break the bread, aren't we sharing in the body of Christ? Ngoguba isin kwa sisiye, tine sibaningi, singum zimba munye, loku tina sonke sisanganyelo leso sin kwa sinye. And though we are many, we all eat from one loaf of bread, showing that we are one body. What am I trying to say? I'm saying that food offered to idols has some significance or that idols are real gods? No, not at all. Astrine Lapo. Let us read this far. Nam Sagu Suguetu Eskumbula Nalo Ubuga Wenkosietu Smemez Situ Fugile. Today is the day that we remember the resurrection of our Lord when we announce and proclaim He is risen. So one is Sito Senkosi Esio Tatwa Simugele. Abadala, Abakulile, Ayabadnani. 
will be partic participating of the Lord's Supper, which will be partaken of by the grown-ups, grown -ups, not the children. Nam shaku sungu esi kumbula ngalo ugu vuga kwa Jesu Christu. Today is the day in which we commemorate the rising of our Lord Jesus Christ. Nam shasi memeza ku wongu mshaba jigelele ugu tufu gile nboni luksupega kwa ke nukulawa kwa ke nam sha Today we proclaim throughout the world the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. You saw his suffering, his dying. Today we proclaim his resurrection. And I trust you, you all saw even Jesus in the grave. The rich in their time didn't bury their dead just in the ground as we do it nowadays. Mbonile Gulu Ifilim. Ujesu abambelanga pansi mshabatini kotwa begu inzu bekopa etwa leni inzu kube ikamele lkulu walaliswa kona. And as you see, saw in the film, it wasn't just the grave that we know in, down into the grave, but it was hewn out of the rock, a sepulchre, and where they laid their dead. Noma wafa ngendlele psungu koto ngumgwaba bamfake tuneni legwili ay elimbi belwe pansi koto belkopa etwa leni benzi kamelo Although he suffered a cruel and a despised death, yet in his death he was buried with the rich, a sepulchre that was hewn out of the rock, which was like a room, and in that room he was laid. And I trust you all see his suffering, how they beat him, and his death on the cross. And today we commemorate his rising from the dead. The woman came early to the tomb to embalm his body. But when they arrived there, they noticed the grave is open, the stone rolled away. Ugutawa <laughs> Nam Sanjege Begus who restart O oh Maria Bea Bezo Koba Isi Tumbusak. So Mary and the woman they went to this sepulchre which had been hewn out of the rock, a room in which even I 
entered and saw where they had laid him. So they came to anoint his body. Uma beza befiga kona baboni tuna livu legile. Niboni legi tuna lake. Begunge silo ni tuna elfana namatuna eitu. Bebe kopa. It it was a little cool. Uzungene, besegube inzu, pagati, bambega ngalu ngalisi sanda. So when they arrived, they found the sepulchre, the tomb open, and as it was a room that in which they could walk in. Bebeng amgwabi ujesu etuneni elfana namathuna ethu elimbiwe phansi emhlabathini They did not bury Jesus like we are used to that we dig a hole into the ground and lay him down in the soil Ikwili bezingamngwathwa phansi emhlabathini njengokuba senza thina The rich were not buried in the ground as we are used to. Bebe itwa lelkulu. Gube konu mnyango. Gube nesondo elkulu. Elbe gwe pam gwe 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 mnyango. Osho nile abe gwe esan lento kula uma ungena. So the rich were laid in a tomb that was hewn out of rock. It was a room, it had a door to it, and then a stone that would be rolled to close the entrance to it. And usually it was a big rock, maybe three, four, five tons that was rolled in to the entrance to close and seal it. Ujesu abamdwabanga etunini, elifana namatuna etu. Ituna lake begu ituna lezi kwili. Ikwili bebe kopa ituala. Baki supaka tetualini. Bangeni sistumbu kona. Baslali se kona. So Jesus was not buried in a grave that we know of being dug into the ground, but rather the rich a grave, a sepulcher was hewn out of the rock that was like a room which you could enter and on the right hand side was the place where they laid him. Ngetembu uti nagbona loko. Agan watuange tuni nilfana netuna litu. Kotwa ikwili. Bezi kopi tuwa lelkulu. Bese batbegi situmu pagati. So I think you very well saw it for yourselves how the rich would have their sepulchres prepared, and that is where they laid Jesus, inside such a tomb. So Jesus was placed in that tomb and then to seal the entrance to it they rolled a thick rock like a wheel that was then rolled to, clear, uh, to seal the entrance. <laughs> So 
kubekwe ije eli nohlonzo lungaka So children now you also know that Jesus was not buried like our graves but he was buried in a hewn uh, sepulcher tomb where they laid him on the right hand side and then outside at the entrance they would roll this massive rock to close the tomb ikwilike besingangcwathwa njengathi kumbiwe umgodi phansi vale ngumhlabathi bona bebe qopha idwale elikhulu bakhi indlu phakathi isidumbu singeniswe bese silaliswe khona so the rich were not buried like we are used to just in the ground but they would have a hewn tomb out of the rock and they would lay him on the side inside on the right side and then they would close it with the rock bengwa safanele ukuthi ngichazele konke lokho ngoba ngibona ukuthi nibonile beningalele bengena beqophithe elikhulu ngene phakathi bekisidumbu bese kuvalwe ngedwale elikhulu I probably don't need to explain this to you because you saw it for yourself of how these tombs were hewn out of the rock you would enter inside lay the body on the right hand side and then retreat to close the entrance Bengiti senya qonda lokho So I think you all understand that Nikubonile efilimi You saw it in the film Ikwili bebe qopha edwaleni elikhulu indlu ikamelo phakathi edwaleni uma ulethi isidumbu usibeke phakathi ngakulesi sandla So the rich had these tombs hewn out of a big rock or a rock face and then they would carry the dead into that room lay it on the side and then close it from the outside ngikhumbula ngile nekhwaya sase sangene thuneni basikhombisa bathi isidumbu sika Jesu besila I remember when we were in Israel with the choir they also took us into the tomb and they said this is where Jesus lay nibonileke ebusuku ithuna lika Jesu bekuyindlu phakathi edwaleni so last night you saw the tomb of our lord it was a tomb a rock a room in the face of the rock ithuna lika Jesu belingafana amathunethu simbe phansi simboze ngenhlabathi bekuyikamelo elaqoshwa etsheni edwaleni ungene phakathi kube yindlu bese basibeke isidumbu so that was the tomb of jesus not just merely laid in the ground but a room prepared out of a rock face and that is where they laid his body ngethemba ukuthi niyakwazi lokho nikubonile nasebusuku efilimini ukuthi ujesu abamngcwabanga njengathi bamfake indlini enkulu eyayi qoshwa edwaleni nahamba nekhwaya sangene thuneni bathi ubelaliswe la So I trust you have seen it for yourself and understand that how the room was prepared in the face of the rock and we also went with the choir went into the tomb and they showed us where Jesus lay Phandle bebebeka idwale elikhulu isondo linohlonzo lungaka base balrole balrole bavale mnyango 
and outside at the entrance they would have this big rock like a wheel very wide and thereby they would close the entrance to the tomb exe nam sanjege sikumbula besfazane be be tuneni bezom ngoba ngoba This morning we remember the woman hurrying to that tomb to anoint the body of Jesus. Bebe toba istumbu ukuba singanuki singaboli sihlale nje imnyaka eminingi. They were going to anoint or embalm the corpse with these ointments so that the body would not decay and maybe last for years abeven ngwabike njengathi umbe phansi uvale ngesihlabathi kodwa bekuyindlu eyayiqoshwe edwaleni bese bathathe isidumbu basifake phakathi so they did not bury the dead just in the soil and close it with soil but rather they chose to hew a room out of the hamba ne kwaya safika khona engadini yaseketemani safike thuneni sangena phakathi thuneni bas khombisa ke bathi ube ngwatshwe ngalolu hlangothi kho isidumbu sakhe besila I remember when we went with the choir we entered into that room of his tomb and they showed us that he lay on the right hand side in that tomb Bona bathathake abafarisi ukhiye baya komkristo mkhulu bathi sinika ukhiye nabantu abagadayo ithuna ukuba abafundi bakhe bangafiki bantshontshi isidumbu ngoba bebethi ujesu uzovuka ngolwesithuku lwesithathu so the pharisees mm. went to pilate asked for permission mm. to guard the tomb to seal the tomb with their seal so that the um, disciples could not steal his corpse and claim that he has risen ningxolele ukuba ngili kulande konke lo ukuba nqonde ithuna lika Jesu belingafana ethuna lethu phansi kodwa beqopha idwala kube ikamelo bafaka isidumbu khona pardon me for mm. going into such detail mm. but i wish you to understand well how jesus was buried not just in a grave as we are used to but he out into a hewn tomb out of the rock and they laid him there uma ujesu sevukile leke lelidwala elikhulu elisondo elalibekwe emnyango belibona ligincikele ingelozi ihleli phezu kwedwala when jesus mm -hmm. arose that stone was cast to the side and when they saw there was an angel sitting on that rock kwaba khona ukuzama zama ukukhulu ngoba abafarisi abaphristo abakhulu bavala ngeketanga bafaka ukhiye ngoba bebekhumbula ukuthi wacela abafundi bakhe ngosuku lwesithathu uzovuka kwabafileyo bethi kuzofika abafundi bakhe bavula ithuna bamsibasusa idumbu bethu Jesu uvukile there was a great earthquake because the priest high priest had gone to pilate for permission to seal that tomb because they were in fear that as jesus had told his disciples that he would rise on the third day and they wanted to secure that that doesn't happen bakela ukhiye bakhiye ukuba bafundi bangafiki ngangibangene ebusuku 
but keep his dog. Bese gutue, uche sufugile. So in other words, they went to get a key, a lock, to make sure that this tomb remains sealed, lest the disciples would come at night, steal the body and claim that Jesus has risen. And so they asked the governor for permission that they could use their lock to seal this tomb, that this rock would not be able to be opened, that the disciples would not be able to see the body. no pau, luka kulmeni, bak vala, emnyangu. Ugu baba fundi, banga figi batatistu, bepsu, guba hambe nas, bakotli sabantu kutu vugile, kanti banchontristu musake. And that they would have a sure lock and the seal of the government verifying that these disciples will not be able to steal him at night and spread the rumors that he has arisen. And just misleading the people, telling them Jesus has risen in the meantime, they had just stolen the body. And they even asked for soldiers to come and guard that tomb at night. And but today, on the third day, there was a mighty earthquake, and the stone was rolled away and cast away, and they could evidently see that he has risen. And so the throne, uh, the, the stone was just cast away and the angel that was a messenger of light, like lightning, sat on it. And when the woman came, they saw that the sepulchre was open. Aba priest, aba kulu, baza, baya, kumpati wumsaba, beti sikela ubuti begwe, upau lapa, es emnyangu, ngo baba fundi banga fige psugu, bak kingi chele, bat hati stumbu siga chesu, bakosisa abantu batu vugile. The high priest had gone to the governor requesting that seal, that sure seal, mm -hmm. that nobody could open this lest the disciples would get inside and steal the body away and spread the rumors that Jesus is risen. And the governor said, this is queer. Would someone dare to steal that body? But ye Baba Fundi Bake Banga Figa, Bavule, Bakipis Dumbusake, Beseba Koshi Saban to Batu Vugile. 
Gandhi war viel Schistumbusak. Und der Priester sagte, ja, es ist möglich, dass seine Follower, seine Disziplin, am Abend kommen und seine Körper stehlen und erklären, dass er gestorben hat. Nikbonileke loko benga fanele ukuthi ngiphinde ngintshele konke konke lokho kodwa ngiyathanda ukuba nizwe kahle niqonde indaba yomngcwabo ka Jesu You have seen it for yourself and it is not necessary for me to go into such detail but I do it so that you will fully comprehend of the matter of Jesus's burial and his resurrection. Naka ngahamba nesk nekwaya saya pesheya saya ngati nyasa ketsamina sange ne tuneni pas kombisa batistumbu besila iche la posega konala We once also went overseas with the choir in the garden of Gethsemane, they showed us, then they took us to the tomb, showed us where Jesus lay, and also where the rock had been cast to the side. Bebea, kumpati womshaba, batistrela ukiye, kiwe nyang, ngobaba fundi banga figa basusije, bakipistumbu, bati ujesu ufugile. They went to the governor and asked for this permission so that they will be able to lock this door securely, but lest the disciples should come at night and claim that and steal away and claim that he's risen. Batata Baya Kus is cool, Waba Nigu Kie, Ugubaba Kiem Yang, Ugubaba Fundi Banga Figib Sung, Banjon Chistumbu, Betu Vugil. So they got permission mm. that they could mm. seal this tomb, that they had a surety that the disciples would not be able to enter. All this that I've told you, I think you have seen it. Be going to the sun, the cool, the lingaga, the this door was not just a door as we know it, but it was a huge rock that was rolled to close the entrance. Aba priest aba kulu baya kulu kulu isi kulu, bati lo muntu ingos kuzo figa ba fundi ba ke palking niche bese ba kipis tumbu betu vugi le ko ba fileyo. So the high priests went to the governor and said, we see a danger here. The possibility exists that his disciples want to come at night and snatch away the body. Batela masosha, uguta figa kate mnyangu, ngobaba fundi, baso figa, balvuli tuna, balkinich, bese, bati, bahambe nestumbu, betu jesu vugile. So they got the consent from the governor to be able to seal that great rock in front of the tomb that this should not happen that their disciples would have access to the tomb to steal that body and then claim that he has risen. Kanti unkulunkulu to sebenza ujesu zuvuka itu nakege limbambe nebopo no kie ka wavugu jesu Iche la kinega konali, ya sinda njalo matana matatu no mamane no maislano. But God worked. Jesus rose from the dead and all these locks 
and their devices could not hold the could not keep the entrance shut but that rock even was flung to one side and Jesus rose in his mind but how and when Mary and them came in the morning they said the tomb is open in spite of the fact that the, there, were, there was a guard set, the soldiers were guarding that tomb, that his disciples would not get into this tomb. So there was a mighty earthquake and the roll, uh, the stone was thrown away to the side. A big rock, three to five tons, they estimate. And the soldiers were amazed. They were flung to the ground and they experienced the resurrection of our Lord. And then they hurried, the, the, the soldiers hurried to the priests and reported what had happened, that there was an earthquake and the stone was just rolled away. And uh, then the high priest said, no, don't spread that story. Here is some money. You tell them that you were asleep at night and that his disciples came and they stole the body. But as quads of Ushodok, is social lama lasa Roma, a lali M7 M7 Zini. They said, We cannot say we were sleeping. A Roman soldier does not sleep on duty. Kanti Unkulunkulu and Yagasi sa Umsaba Idwala El Kulu La Round or La Fagua no Pau. La Posega Le Ingelosi Ekaina Njemonyazi La Sala Peso Wetuala Baka Kaze La Bakichi Mababi Gela Umpist Umpriest Umkuru Betu Fugi Luches. So the God shook the earth mm -hmm. and all the locks and the seals were broken and that rock was cast to the side and then they hurried to the high priest and reported this what they had occurred but i i musano musho njalo ukuthi uvukile shonini ukuthi benilele ubuthongo kwase kufika abafundi bakhe bavula bakhipha isidumbu bahamba naso but i singamasosha se roma He's told, they told the soldiers, hush, don't report on that, but rather say that while you were sleeping, the disciples came and they stole the body. Because a Roman soldier does not sleep on duty. The penalty is death. And 
The soldiers said, we Roman soldiers, we don't sleep on duty. He has really risen. The stone was just cast away to one side. In the Lord's Ya kanya njengo nyazi la sala pezu wetu hala. Aba fundi. Oni na o Maria. Aba fige tunein. Be omko obu chesu. Be omko obu kuti istu mbu sake singa boli. Singa nungi. Koto uma be figa kona. But how? Sifulegi ili tuna. Kanti. Ingelozi sheli pezu wetu hala. Kanya njengo nyazi. So when the woman came in the morning to anoint the body of Jesus, suddenly they saw that the tomb was open. And then in a lightning, uh, there was an angel, white as lightning, sitting there and asked them, Whom do you seek? They say, We seek Jesus. And soldiers so the soldiers had been set for that purpose to guard and watch that this tomb is not opened. But God opened that tomb and Jesus rose. The woman came to anoint the body that there should not be any decay. But when they came, they found this opening, this entrance open. And they, they saw the angel, and the angel asked, Whom do you seek? And they said, Jesus. So he said, He is not here. You won't find the dead among the living. And the instra angel instructed them, go to his disciples and inform them. So they rushed back to the disciples and said, the grave is open. Jesus has risen. Petro <laughs> When Peter and John heard it, they rushed at full speed to the tomb. But John was younger than Peter and he reached the tomb first. And they, he came there and stood and saw that the tomb was open. Uchohane wa memnyango, uma kufiku petu. Ngoba yena wa shiwa uchohane, uchohane uvese musha. Eki chima ngeli tubane wa fika kala. Wa memnyango, wa fiku petu, wa bona kufulegi ile wangena, wa boni stumbu singeko. And so John stood there and when Peter arrived, because he was a bit slower than John, he saw the open tomb and he entered in and he saw that the Lord had risen. Nkumbula sine kwae sile Jerusalem saya eketsamane sangene etuneni ikamele lkhulu bacela ukuthi isidumbu besila. I remember us going with the choir to Gethsemane entering also that tomb and they told us, this is where Jesus lay. And he was not there. They hurried to the disciples to inform them that Jesus is no more in the grave. He is risen. Uchohan ube se ingane. Bakichima. 
Ujohana wafika kale tuneni wame mnyangu. Walande lupetu. Upetu wangena pagati wabuga. And two of them, Peter and John, raced to the tomb. Although John was the faster one, he was still younger. He stood before the tomb, the open tomb, but Peter came and he went right in and saw the Lord and Wabuka. John just stood at the entrance, but Peter entered right in. And when he saw what he saw, he could just proclaim, He is risen. His burial clothes had been folded away well. He can't. So they had um, cl uh, put burial clothes around him from here to the top and then others from their neck down to his feet. So they used these burial clothes and then they would point, point this ointment on this myrrh and on top of that another clothing again layers after layer from here upwards. And the same in Saga was Songwa Ganjas. In like manner from here down, mm -hmm. taking the burial clothes mm -hmm. and then layer after layer with myrrh being embalmed in that way. Utohana wa figa kala, ese mushene chubane kuno pet, wame nyang, walande lupet, wange na uma engena, waboni tunal vulegile. So when the disciples rushed to the tomb, it was the younger one who arrived first, but he stood outside at the entrance. But Peter entered in, and when he entered in, he saw that Jesus wasn't there, but the burial clothes remained. <laughs> Now, if a body has been embalmed in that way, you cannot just take this off your head. You should, one uses, one can only maybe cut it open to be able to get it out of this embalming linen that was used. And even lower down, you can't just get Upeto it off. And when Jesus saw these burial clothes, 
just still bandaged and folded in the way as they had been embalmed. He could only exclaim, he is risen, because these were separate from the rest of the body, neatly folded away, and he could only exclaim, he is risen. And a person who has been embalmed in that way, you cannot just slip out of those embalming wrappings. But they were neatly on one side, the head dress on the other side, the rest of the body. So one can't just take a body out of these embalming clothes, so to say. So because they were still in one piece, they had not been cut or sawn open, they could only testify, and this was evidence, that he had come out through God's power. Not Johan, Nabes Fazan, Bakichi Mabaya, Guabain, Batu Fugile and Pesha, Sbonile, Ageco a Siga, Ekanda, Ageco a Siga la, Wakipistum, Istum Buskishi Winch. And Peter and the disciples and the rest, they hurried back to the others and could just proclaim, he is risen, because the burial clothes were evidence that they hadn't been cut open, but that Jesus had risen out of these embalming clothes. And they hurried to the others and proclaimed, he is risen indeed. I have got my notes, and the notes aren't here. It's just this. Baki chima ke ba bigela ba nyugu tu fugi lengempela. They hurried to the others and told them, "He is risen indeed." Because they had said, here is the evidence. We saw the head embalming cloths neatly on one side and the rest of the body it is, and not being cut, not being torn open but neatly stayed behind, so he had just risen out of those burial cloths. And that was the testimony that nobody had stolen him away, but that he had risen out of those cloths. And to so throughout the world today we proclaim the resurrection of our Lord because the evidence was there. It was not torn open, it was not sawn open or cut open. No. He had just, so to say, slipped 
out of these burial clothes. Ngina thanda ukhulume ihora lonke ngokuvuka kwakhe kodwa isikhatha sikho. Sisaqhubeka sazoba nesidlo senkosi nabantu abadala. I wish I could speak for an still an hour just of how he was risen out of these burial clothes but now we still have the lord's supper we still need to continue with that kwase kuzwa kala ukuthi uvukile ngempela abafundi baze bakusho nabe siphazane futhi and so it was resounded through these disciples through the word of these women that he is risen kwaphelela ukufakazi ukuthi uvukile and the, the witness was evident it was complete witness to the fact that he had risen nazi zitsha sangosoba nesidlo sabantu abadala sikhumbule igazi lika jesu nomzimba wakhe now we have got these plates here that, that we will be partaking of the lord's supper that is for the adults the young children will refrain from it oh jesus was born akalisa kubona wakhuluma nabo jesus appeared to them and he spoke to them manje kuyamenye zomhlabeni wonke ukuthi ujesus uvukile now it is proclaimed throughout the world that jesus is risen he is the lord supper of which the adults can partake and we remember his blood and his body sukela lapho ke kwezwakala emhlabeni wonke ujesu uvukile 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 and from there it was heard across the whole world the message that jesus is risen nasi sizo senkosi sizo sidla nabantu abadala nina zingane ingane cha Yes the Lord supper we will partake of it with the older people the children no Kuzofika abadala bathatha izitsha bahamba basinike babanike abantu abahlanzwe ngegazi lika Jesus There will be those that will take the plates and will serve us and give to those who have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus lokho ke kuqondene nabantu abadala hayi ingane ingane now children remember this pertains to the grown ups not to the young children kwenze ke inqaba var isti papire nie 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 Hier oben ist es. Das sind die Namen. Ich war nicht die Namen. Ich hatte was anderes aufgeschrieben. Ja. Also gehe gehe log. Sie kubek. Sie so nam schon wenn Jesus um Saba war und gut Jesus fugile. Today we proclaim throughout the world and everywhere it is proclaimed he Jesus is risen. Empele ni bekumelwe ukhuluma ihora lonke ngengubo kodwa isikhatha sikho sesiyayeka sesobuyela la esidlweni